Hello, Keith Rucker here at VintageMachinery.org. So the last couple of weeks I've had a couple of people uh, specifically request that I do a video talking about how to use a uh, depth micrometer. Uh, and I thought it'd be a pretty good thing to do, so here we go guys. Uh, if you ever seen these being used and want to know how to use one, uh, set one up, change out the depths, calibrate, we're going to go all over all of that in this video. So hang on, let's get going. So you ever had a part? say that had some holes in it and you needed to measure the depth of the hole couldn't really get anything down in there to do that with or say you had or machining a part like this uh, angle plate here and you needed to measure uh, this uh, how far your cut was going in uh, well there's a good tool to do that and that is this uh, depth micrometer uh, which is made for measuring the depth of uh, anything that you want to use it on so it has a, a small diameter um, probe that will go down into uh, uh, whatever you're measuring in depth. You've got a shelf here that, uh, that sits on top of the part that you're measuring down from. And of course it reads uh, just like any other uh, micrometer would here uh, with the, uh, the scale on here. Uh, this particular one is for, for inches, but uh, the millimeter ones work exactly the same way. So let's uh, start out by showing you what a set typically looks like and uh, how you would start using one right out of the box. So this is uh, one of my uh, depth micrometer sets I have, probably the most complete set I have as far as a like, capacity goes. And it comes in a nice wooden box, you open it up. And uh, what you see inside is you see the actual uh, depth micrometer here. Uh, and then you also see an assortment of uh, rods that you can put in this to do different depths. So one of the nice things about a depth micrometer as opposed to just a regular micrometer that you would use uh, to measure the diameter of a piece is that with this tool you can have, uh, instead of having a, a whole different micrometer for a different range of measurements, uh, you can just change these rods out and be able to measure different um, ranges. So each one of these are basically in a one inch increment in this particular case, because that's what this measures. So when you go from one rod to the other, you just change the rod out and uh, you're able to, uh, to, to use it right along. So uh, when you get a set, you know, uh, usually probably the, the, the range you'll be using the most will be zero to one inch. Uh, I rarely have to change these out, but it's nice to have uh, this assortment. Uh, some sets aren't going to have as many uh, uh, different sets of rods in them. Uh, quite honestly, you know, here's another set I have. Um, this particular set, it only has uh, three rods, but it goes basically from zero uh, to three inches. So you got a zero to one inch, a one to two, and a two to three. And quite honestly, this set right here is probably all I really ever need, but it's nice to have the extra capacity in the larger set. So. Um, Let's uh, kind of go through it and show you how, show you the process here. So we've got this depth micrometer and it has the zero to one inch rod in it right now. And again, this is uh, quite honestly, uh, for the work that I'm doing, this is the one that gets used the most is that zero to one inch. And one of the things you'll want to do when you get the set is to just check them for calibration. Um, they tend to stay calibrated pretty well, but it's always good to check your instruments. So, uh, before you start out with anything, what I would recommend you do, uh, by the way, there's a quick way to um, move these micrometers out over long distances is just roll them up your arm uh, like such. But we're going to start by rolling it up into the base of the, of the micrometer. I'm going to set it down. In this case, I'm on a surface plate, so I'm on a nice flat surface. And uh, we're just going to roll this down until it touches. Uh, now one question I get asked a lot about using a micrometer is how much pressure do I put on this when I'm measuring? Uh, a depth micrometer is a good tool to kind of get a feel for because you can feel when it goes down. You can hold it down and get a good measurement. But a good micrometer, uh, the, the better micrometers I should say, have this little uh, ratchet in the end. And this is calibrated to give a particular amount of pressure on the uh, on the micrometer so that you're constantly getting the same amount of pressure. So in this case, we're there, we pull it up and we read uh, on here to see if it's reading exactly zero, zero. So to show you what I'm talking about here, uh, when you read this on the barrel, it's reading about a halfway on the mark there and it moved just a little bit when I touched it, but it's not read this zero line is not lining up right on there. And I want to adjust that out. I want to calibrate this. 
So in this particular micrometer, uh, let's see, what we want to do is we want it to be measuring just a little bit deeper, about a half thousandth deeper. So I'm going to just unscrew the top. The rod comes out. And on this particular uh, micrometer, if you look at the top, there's a screw. There's actually two screws. They jam together. And uh, what we can do here is we can uh, loosen these up and uh, move that setting on here. So I'm just going to just ever so slightly. I want to jam those back together nice and tight now. Well, after some calibration, it's reading right on the money. I'm uh, pretty happy with that. So to calibrate for different lengths, in this case, I've got a zero to one in here. So I've got a one inch gauge block. You need some type of standard that you can uh, measure off of uh, that will be very precision to check your calibration. So I want to check the one inch depth. So I come in here and get in here close. There we go. All right, we come in here and we're right on the money. So that's uh, exactly one inch. Now, um, again, if we're measuring something that's in that uh, one to two inch range, I pull out this particular rod and I will change it with a slightly longer rod here. This one here is for uh, one to two inches. We put it in there. I have not checked this rod for calibration, so what I'm going to do is uh, come over to my gauge blocks and I'm going to grab a two inch high gauge block. And uh, we will come in here and measure with this one. And we're right on the money. So, anyway, that's how you check. Um, calibrate uh, these particular, this particular uh, uh, depth micrometer. Uh, other depth micrometers should uh, have an, a similar type adjustment on them. They may be slightly different from one brand to another, uh, but you get the gist of uh, what, we're do what we're doing for calibration. And now to do a measurement with a um, depth micrometer, we're going to take, and we're just going to get a measurement of this hole here. So we'll run this down through here. I've got the proper uh, depth rod in there for what I'm measuring. There we go, we've hit bottom. Pull that out. And uh, we can read this on here. Now one thing about reading uh, the micrometer part is it's backwards from a regular micrometer. Usually we're measuring from zero to one in this direction. In this case we're measuring from zero to one in this one. So in this case we're at uh, a little over 800. Uh, we're not to the uh, 25 mark, so this is 812 thousandths deep. This next piece I want to demonstrate on. This is going. We're going to measure the, from the top here down to the bottom, and measure this uh, this piece here. So I'm going to take a scale, and I can tell that this is just a little over three inches. Now my first uh, uh, depth micrometer set I showed you will only measure up to three inches. So I'm actually moving over and I'm going to be grabbing my brown and sharp set, which I can go up to, I think, 10 inches deep. And, uh, you know, it works the same way. The top screws off. In this case, the rod comes out. The rod's a little bit different. And I grab my rod. Uh, this one here, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but it says three to four right there. So that's a three to four depth rod. Uh, we insert that one in, screw our top back on, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and just move this out, whoops, unscrewed my top. So now what I'm going to do is we're going to come in here, I've only really got one side that I can measure off, so, off, so I'm going to kind of turn it at an angle so that I'm getting as much contact on this one side. I'm going to put all the pressure down this one side and we'll come in here and measure down to the bottom and so in this case um, we know it's a three to four so it's three uh, and we're past the one 
we're not to the two yet, uh, and we're past uh, the the first mark on the ones. So that'd be 25 plus 15. So 25 plus 15 will be 40,000. So this will be three inches, 140 thousandths deep uh, using this uh, micrometer right here. So again, nice to have that extra range of depths uh, with this uh, brown and sharp set. So there you go guys, a uh, quick tutorial on uh, use and calibration of a uh, depth micrometer. Hope you found that useful. That'll be a quick and dirty uh, Monday video for you guys this week. And uh, with that, we'll sign off and uh, see you real soon. Thanks for watching.